Renewable energy has become a real challenge to fossil fuel-based electricity generation worldwide. Our world is already getting even closer to the reality of a global energy system fully based on renewable energy sources. Nowadays, renewable energy as a source of power is increasingly a success story in many developing countries around the world. And today, I'm going to show you some countries in the world that are already gaining momentum when it comes to using renewable energy as a source of power. More than half of the power generating capacity added around the world in recent years has been in renewable sources such as solar and wind. And now, renewable energy has become a real challenge to fossil fuel-based electricity generation worldwide. So now, without further ado, let me start off with China. China now leads the world in growth of renewable energy with over 600 gigawatt of renewable generation capacity. This country accounted for nearly half of all new global capacity in 2017 according to International Renewable Energy Agency. China is on a mission to become the next green superpower. The country is the largest investor in renewable energy. With a leading position in renewable energy output as well as in related technologies such as electric vehicles, Beijing now finds itself in an influential position which other countries may struggle to counter. And then here we have Morocco, the country that produced 35% of its electricity from renewable sources by the end of 2018. Morocco's 2020 goals to increase the contribution of renewable energy to the production of electricity from 42% to 52% by 2030 are still on track. Its current renewable capacity stands at 3,000 megawatts. But the country has set a target of increasing renewable capacity to 10,000 megawatt by 2030. Morocco plans to generate 42% of its electricity from renewables by 2020. This will substantially reduce carbon emissions and also the country's heavy reliance on imported energy. The complex uses concentrated solar power or CSP, a technology that could provide 10% of global electricity by 2050. Then what we have next here is Burlington in Vermont, USA. This is the first and only city in America to power 100% of its electricity from renewable sources. That include wood, hydroelectricity, wind, and solar. This achievement was accomplished over decades through a series of interconnected factors that include strong governmental leadership, regional and state regulatory frameworks for renewable energy and climate change and innovative policies from the local electric utility, which is the Burlington Electric Department. In 2014, Burlington made history by becoming the first city in the U.S. to meet 100% of its electricity needs through renewables. Also vital, this hydropower plant. Hydro accounts for 35% of the city's electricity generation. The rest is met by wind and solar. And of course, in the U.S., we should not forget California. California has established an ambitious goal of relying entirely on renewable energy sources for its electricity by the year 2045. Governor Jerry Brown signed a bill last year September requiring the state to produce all its electricity from renewable sources by the year 2045. It's also a goal that has been set by Hawaii and it's being discussed by other states. The law requires California to rely on renewable sources like solar and wind power for 60% of its energy by 2030, and for using only carbon-free sources, including nuclear power, by 2045. So it seems like California is really unstoppable when it comes to its push for renewable energy. And now, of course, we also have India on the list. This country has set a target of installing 175 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity by the year 2022, which includes 100 gigawatt from solar, 60 gigawatt from wind, 
10 gigawatt from biopower and 5 gigawatt from hydropower. The government has launched several schemes for promotion and development of renewable energy, including solar energy in the country from time to time. In some good news for the South Indian state of Karnataka, it has topped the list of cities in the country in production of renewable energy. When visitors land in the southern city of Kochi, they're greeted by a field of over 46,000 solar panels. The international airport is the first in the world entirely powered by the sun. India's push towards solar energy also comes with economic benefits. Over the past two years, hundreds of factories making solar panels have sprung up across the country, like this one that used to make diesel generators. And now, let's move on to the next country called Jordan. This country is focusing on renewable energy because it lacks oil and gas reserves of its neighbors and has to import most of its energy. It's also one of the most water-stressed nations in the world. So a steady supply of green energy will help ease the cost of pumping water, which takes up about 15% of the nation's gross domestic product each year. Jordan aims to meet its target of securing 10% of energy from renewable sources by 2020. With shimmering panels dotted on rooftops across Jordan, it's easy to spot the kingdom's growing movement towards renewable energy. Jordan imports 97% of its energy needs. The government ambitiously aims to slash its fossil fuel bill by making green energy 20% of its overall power consumption by 2020. And now let's move on to Japan. This is another country that supports the use of renewable energy. Japan's government pledged to boost the amount of energy taken from renewable sources to around a quarter in a new plan that also keeps nuclear power central to the country's policy. The plan aims to have 22 to 24 percent of Japan's energy needs met by renewable sources, including wind and solar, by 2030, a figure critics describe as an ambitious base on current levels of around 15 percent. We also have Singapore on the list. You know, for Singaporeans, tapping the sun's energy as a source of renewable is not easy though. Imagine, there's the fact that this country has limited lands for the installation of solar panels. And solar energy generation requires large areas for photovoltaic panels to be laid and installed. But though a shortage of land has limited Singapore to adapt to solar energy, now they may have found a solution. The solution is a floating solar panels that can lie in reservoirs or other water bodies, running up to 10% more efficiently than those on land. The one hectare testbed now running in Singapore includes ABB solar inverter technology and can supply energy for up to 250 households. A huge bed of solar panels floating in the water. Just this testbed will generate enough energy for 250 households without using up any land space. But Singapore is already working on using all spare spaces for solar, including this reservoir. It now hosts the world's largest floating solar test bed on a hectare of water. So despite the country's relatively small size, the potential for producing solar power is huge. So and now here comes the United Arab Emirates. This country is also aiming to switch to renewable energy as its source of power. The solar power plant is just one of UAE's many initiatives aiming to shift toward renewable energy. The UAE aims to produce 24% of its energy from renewable sources by 2021. But countries like the United Arab Emirates are putting more money into cleaner forms of energy. By 2050, the UAE wants almost half of its power to come from renewables. It's something the firms behind Dubai's largest solar park aren't too surprised about. Gulf countries also have economic motivations to invest in green energy. Saudi Arabia is trying to diversify its oil reliant economy and announced plans last month to build the world's largest solar park. Actually, all the countries I've mentioned in here that have already been using renewable energy are just very few compared to the reality. 
because nowadays there are still more countries not listed in here that are already embracing the advantage and benefits of using renewable energy. So you can expect that in the near future there are still more videos I can upload related to renewable energy. And that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.